hey my friends so have you been recording videos daily have you done that have you learned that you should be creating content every day and you hear everybody's talking about podcasts and you're like well I don't have time to create a podcast and videos and content and this and that and everything else what if I told you you could take those videos that you're already doing every day because you're doing that daily right you're doing that daily because you're building your audience and you're using social media and they're telling you video is important that's the best way for people to get to know you what if I told you you could use those videos and create a podcast from them really easily now I'm not saying you go through a bunch of hoops it's really simple to do all you got to do is you got to get the links from your YouTube put them in a platform and that's it that's all you got to do just take the links and put them right and uh, maybe later on we're going to even improve that to make it even easier but for now that's as simple as that we're going to show you how to do that how I do it because you might not know this but I create daily videos like this but I also create podcasts every day right now on like five or six different podcast platforms I'm probably going to grow that I'm actually going to show you how you can do it on a bunch of different platforms right now and we're going to cover that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you've been creating videos every day because that's what you've been told I know that when I started I was told if you want to build your audience online you want to grow your fans you want to get people to know like and trust you if you're trying to build a business you're trying to sell courses whatever it is you're trying to sell you have to get your fans to know like and trust you and the best way for them to do that is to do videos and that's why you should be doing videos every single day so if you're doing that you're on the right track to grow a fan base to get people to know like and trust you to eventually buy from you and that's the whole shebang of you know personal branding attraction marketing but now nowadays the last probably the last six months to a year I'm sure you've been hearing about podcasts how you should be using podcasts how audio is the next the next wave of content how people are consuming content using you know audio just like the in-home devices like the Google Home the Alexa um, Amazon Alexa different apps out there that use voice right and people are consuming content with voice because you know voice is so much easier than video with video you gotta actually be sitting in front of the computer or, or have your phone in front of you and actually you know watch it mostly right whereas with audio you can just listen you can be doing other things you can be cooking you can be exercising you can be driving the car whatever you can listen to audio that's why you need to have a podcast but you don't have time to create a podcast and to do a video right so by the way if you're listening to the audio because I do this in a podcast if you're listening to the audio and you want to go check out the video you can go to cis242.jsgagnon.com that's cis242.jsgagnon.com go check that out you'll see the blog post and the video on how to do what I'm about to explain in audio all right so let's just share my screen and I'm just going to kind of show you so you know let's say you have a, bod a podcast uh, not a podcast but you're doing daily episodes like I was doing I like that's a couple of years back I was doing these simple online strategies every single day and as you can see these are all there November 3rd uh, well actually I probably uploaded them all at the same time at one point but I had them all on my computer I uploaded them all in in Facebook I would do them in, in YouTube later on but let's say you're doing videos right now on YouTube and you're publishing videos every single day whether it's on Facebook on YouTube you can use the same thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first how to get uh, those 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 videos in a format that can be used to create podcasts so it's very simple uh, all you got to do is I mean there's a whole bunch of places where you can do that but obviously I am creating an, a site that's called click ecourse so you go to clickecourse.com. let me put that link in here so you go to click ecourse.com uh let me log out here and create a new account so if you go to that <clears throat> to clickecourse.com, right 
and you go to the site you're going to see the welcome and you know affiliates and all this stuff so let's just go really quick through the process you just click on the register you can use your Facebook account to register you click on continue as whatever the name is there what well your name obviously uh or in my case because I'm testing I already have an account with that I just want to show you the registration of a new account I'm just going to create a new account cis 241 and I'm just going to call that uh, the, the the I'm just going to register that account when you go there basically what happens is it tells you that you've got a new account that you are receiving you're going to be sent an email to activate that account now if you use Facebook to log in you don't have to worry about that we all we know you're already you you're already logged into Facebook we, we you're validating that it's okay and all that stuff it's already done but if you put an email then you have to go through this process of approving and activating the account so then you go into your email and if I go into my email don't worry that verification code is not good anymore <laughs> you're going to get an email like this which says activation on click ecourse and all you got to do is you look that you look at that email if I can click it and then you end up uh, with an activation link we're just going to click on this link it's going to activate the account for us say successfully activated the account you just click on that and now you have an account all right so you have an account and you can uh, create uh so the way it works is that you got to create a container for your podcast a place where your files are hosted so that you can point the different platforms to that it's called an rss feed rss means really simple syndication and basically what it is is a, a file that is um your list of of episodes right so depending on the platform depending on where you're trying to host it where you're trying to share it whether it's itunes like if i look at a a, a place like this where's the uh, where's the i had a post i just did a search for that showed me all sorts of different is that what this one? Oh yeah this one here so I was just searching this is one of the platforms that supports a uh, podcasting obviously you can use castos I've never used it but if I just did a google search and it came up with a list of you know 30 different directories where you can actually host your podcast and they exp they explain just like I'm explaining is that your podcast is just a set of files it's not like it, the, the the podcast itself on itunes or on google podcast or on stitcher or on iHeartRadio those don't store your your files they just they just point to them and you you can have your files in one place and then share it to all these different platforms all you got to do is do follow these different steps we're going to talk about that in a second but the first thing you got to do is you got to create a container for it so if you go into click eCourse you just go over here on the big plus sign and you create a course I probably should update that to allow it to be called a podcast instead of a course right but let's just call this podcast oops podcast simple 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 online strategies right so I'm going to call this is my strategies if I can tell spell right uh the summary is is just something that the podcast platform wants to know about so your summary would be you know daily episodes on how to x right how to build your personal brand oops your personal brand and use attraction marketing to grow grow your business your business so I mean and then in the details you can add some more right I do daily videos and podcast episodes to show you how you you can build your brand online using personal branding and social and social you know, social media um you can learn the basic strategies strategies and tools you need to learn to grow uh, a fan base on social media so that and uh, so that they so so they learn to know like and trust you trust you 
and eventually buy from you without without ever having to reach out to them they'll they'll come to you all right so now I got this I'm just going to click on next over here um I can go straight to the cover I can click on these different tabs here the idea is that you want to create a um a new container for your you know podcast I don't know if you can hear that the the lawnmower guys going out there um but uh oh my internet just died on me that's nice I just lost my internet connection I wonder if the the lawn <laughs> I don't wonder if the lawnmower is causing that that's why the saving is not finishing up here I don't know if I should maybe I can try to reconnect I can try to connect to well, let's just try to connect to my other connection here see if that works better <laughs> all right so let's just do that and let's just uh, copy all this because I don't want to lose it I'm going to go to notepad notepad I'm just going to paste that in another file because I don't want to lose it all and over here so this is my summary let's put that over here let's uh no don't worry about that put this uh summary here in the title I'm just going to I'm just going to reload the page see if it saved part of it I'm not really sure but this is the thing right with the internet dying because this is obviously a hosted service if I just reload this actually let's just um let's just click on the cancel it might have saved it if it didn't then I'll just have to recreate it. if I go courses you created right here uh there's none okay so I'll go to create it again let's do it again so this is the title whoops the title right here I'm going to get the summary over here and then I'm going to take the details and paste it in there too there we go next okay there you go now it's saved it now the SEO header code categories you probably don't need to worry about right now right now you can go through them you can click on next to go through each or just go straight to the cover image we want to have a cover image here uh it's going to be simple online strategies I'm going to go into here where's my simple online strategies uh actually I think that's in my old yeah it's in my old stuff simple online strategies I think I had that under videos do, 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 do. Um, these were the oh my god these were old videos no this is not I don't even know where that was this was the my very first videos I did uh are they in here snapchat 10 day I don't remember where they were where are they I think they might be in my whoops in my uh my new folder I should have probably looked for that before this simple auto simple oh, there I right here oh well they're not really there but okay anyways that doesn't really matter I just want a cover photo let's just take one of these doesn't really matter I'm going to use this one you obviously you want to have a nice cover photo it's, it should be square um and actually maybe let's let's just I don't even know what that let's just go actually and look at that and go into there and actually create one simple online strategies I'm going to look at one of these things so they're actually they're actually square okay that's fine the, for now so then I don't have a price on this this is zero dollars so obviously the commission doesn't matter the access I want to make it public so I just go public and I say done all right so now I have it's called a course but really it's going to be for podcast so what I do now is I create a new lesson I click well actually before you add podcasts you need to have an account that supports that so you go to you you can look at plans right here and you'll see that the um uh, podcast the rss you need an rss and json feeds for a podcast in alexa that's under the beginner plan so it's not available in the free plan so the beginner plan is only ten dollars a month you just click on select right here and then you upgrade to, you just click on the subscribe for ten dollars or you pay the, the yearly that's up to you really 
uh, and then it just takes you to PayPal you can you can use your PayPal account if you want or you just pay with a credit card you don't have to have a PayPal account you just click on pay with a uh, credit card and then in there you just put your credit card number and your address and all that and your email address and then it'll um, charge you just the 10 bucks right you you know just it's it's really nothing but if you find that it's not it's not worth it you can always request a refund that's fine but you know like I said I'm I'm I think you're going to love this because it'll allow you to share it to everywhere so let's just go back and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to um I'm actually just going to get on my I got I should have started that up earlier but I had not thought of this either <clears throat> so I have another 10 minutes or so before oh my that's not uh yeah so once you've once you've got your account you can go back to your courses over here on your on your little profile you can go to courses right here which are the courses that you created you can go back in here and you can edit this course you can or just click on the image to go to it uh, edit the course lets you set things like the SEO and the title and the description you can change that as you can see the description is here and the summary is here this is the details this is the title and you can also see that we use the title right there in the URL as the URL for your show right okay so then I add a lesson so all I got to do is I got to go to YouTube I find my first one here right, let's go to the end my very last one episode number one let's just get the link to it get shareable link right and then I go to the course here and I just add it right here in the URI that's it I just do that now the only thing is that because I don't have the upgraded account which I'm in the process of getting set up here I just have to connect uh, as admin I'm just connecting on the other computer here and I'm just going to uh, go and give myself the upgrade because it's a test account obviously right I'm not going to go and I don't have to go and pay for that right but uh, yeah so before I do that you can see right here it doesn't let me do that uh that probably shouldn't even be showing up when you're on the free account but if I go into here let me just uh, log in and go into go into this user And I'm going to upgrade this user to the beginner plan. Okay, so now if I reload this page, right now, um, if I'm in the plans, well, it's it's uh, it's upgraded now. So now I can see down here I have the option for download MP3. Now you want to enable that by default it'll be enabled, but you put the link of the YouTube video right here. You save it and one of the things you're going to want to do is you, and you know if you're posting this daily right you want to have daily episodes on your uh podcast show as you can see right now it's downloading the audio right and what you want to do as well is you want to give it a date so I'm going to give this a date of published on 2020 10 dash let's say 10 right on the 10th I did an episode right here I'm just going to save that like this oh I forgot the other thing you want to do is you want to also publish the course <laughs> under status you make it published save it right there okay so now I'm going to add another episode we're going to make this episode number two if I go to let's see where is it uh, the, these guys here episode number two let's get this uh, out of here get shareable link I go back to here and again I do the same thing sorry about the noise yeah, I don't know if you can hear it but I it's certainly loud to me right now I'm going to put a publish date here already 10 uh, 11 and I'm going to make it published right away I'm going to save that and it's going to just save that new video from YouTube now you, you could put a, a Facebook link there too it doesn't really matter either one is fine if I'm going to add another one let's put a third one in here uh episode number three which will be number three where is it right over here get shareable link and I'm going to go down here whoops over here and I'm going to place that in here and I'm going to say 20 20 10 13 episode three right and now now the idea is that I'm back publishing something and like if you have something already on YouTube like I do here you can do the same thing you can back publish to 
this date because if you make it you could make it published on the original date but the problem with that is that uh, you you will have to fill everything in until today so that you have recent content as well when you're broadcasting now if I go back to this course I just click on the course link down the bottom here it shows me that this course has these three episodes now like I said it's a podcast it's not a course although people can go to this course and they can actually watch the videos as well right oh here's the other thing I forgot I need to put the timestamp in here I gotta fix that here uh, this is a three minute 35 video so I gotta go back up here and change that to 335 whoops 335 I got to go to the next one let's go back to the list and I'm just going to edit the one see this one has zero so I got to edit this and then I give it a number let's go over here whoops not here 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 number two is 513 this was 513 and number three was number three episode three whoops episode three was 239 239 down here two 239 okay so now I have the three episodes on my course if I go back to the course like I said it's a podcast so you're creating this course that people can access they can watch all your videos that you've done and you make you can make it unlisted if you want if I go into here you can make this unlisted I don't know if you can change it afterwards access unlisted okay so you can make this unlisted now it's an unlisted course that means that if people search on the site they won't see it but you can have it as a podcast now so the way it works is you click on the little feeds thing right here you get the rss feed or the alexa feed for most of the platforms is going to be the pod, the rss feed you just take this you copy the link and then you go to the platforms like say for example on itunes oh that's just the page for everything okay so if, say you want to um, create on spotify well spotify you just go to submit your podcast to spotify visit spotify for podcasters and log into your account so let's do that open a new window go to podcasterspotify.com I actually already have an account so I'm not really sure if I should try to create another one I don't know am I already logged in your dashboard um yeah I'm already logged in right so I already have these these podcasts over here I don't know what these numbers are I really don't I don't use this but I can uh let's say what they what's what are they saying here first you got to create a Spotify account after you've got your account you log in with Facebook or you create an account then after that you agree to the terms and you go and enter your RSS feed link so your next step is submit a podcast to Spotify to give the platform your RSS link head over let me take the link off because this is really not so you go to your Spotify and you go to the um, RSS feed so add a podcast let's see where is that whoops I go here I just want to go here add or claim your podcast right uh get started and I'm going to paste the link right here and let's see I don't know what will happen we'll see so that it, it looks good he says he's happy this is what it looks like see podcasting simple online strategies it's see the text that I put in there is showing up I click on next and then it's going to send me a code to the email address send the code and then I have to go check my email right Go back to the email over here my inbox uh got a bunch of junk mail here oh there's my spotify there's my code this is the code I take that and then I paste it into the oh actually that's not right it's over here this guy paste that in here and he's gonna go like yep that's good that's good so now he's gonna podcast he's gonna add this to my where is the podcast made I'm going to say Canada obviously your country Canada language is English uh, hosting provider is gonna it's not in here so it's other uh, category I'm going to make it business and technology or sure so choose up to three categories entrepreneurship marketing 
and business let's say that then I say next and there you go and submit so now I've submitted the podcast to Spotify and that's all you got to do okay so that's for Spotify now let's try another one if I want to podcast to um Google uh on Google there are castos that's the castos dashboards that's with casto so google log into the google play music store uh which you have to you can log in the google play music store let's try this a new window okay publish <clears throat> get started all right so now it's podcast manager and look I already have my course income secrets here let me uh it says zero plays and whatever I'm not promoting it right but let's say I want to add a new podcast now so now I'm logged in submit so new podcast so once you initiate the submission you're prompted to enter so and once inside you'll see the blue button near the top where it's out podcast okay blue button near the top I'm not seeing that but let's see add show right here all right so now I'm going to put my RSS feed. oh that's not it got to get the RSS feed back from here get this RSS feed copy link address I go back here paste that in here next step and then it's just going to show it shows me these episodes right podcast and then I'm just going to say next step and then there's sending me a verification code right whoops what happened oh he's, he's going to my email I didn't want to do that okay there send the code so now I'm sending a code to there and I got to go back to my email again and get the code for that one reload this page verify ownership and then there's the code and then I put that in here and I submit ownership verified get started so now I have two apps two podcasts here so that's on Google uh podcast right so okay that's number two now where else let's go where else do I I don't even have okay I got this one done how to submit your podcast to Google Apple Google Play oh yeah so this is the same thing uh obviously they're the okay publishing your podcast to Apple so creating so one of the things with Apple podcasts you really want to you really want to do it on Apple podcasts with Spotify we got it here so let's just show you here so these are percentages of use it says here that 42 percent of devices use Apple podcasts and 19 percent use Spotify and then the rest are lower right so the average downloads and unique downloads and all that you can see that Apple podcast is really important you really should be on Apple podcast the thing with Apple podcast is you need to have an Apple ID now I'm not going to go through this process here because uh I already did it and it's a it's a unique thing you got to have your Apple ID um and on a on a Windows PC you got to download the app the software and everything it's not super complicated and you kind of kind of find it on Google how to find how to do that but that's how you do with the Apple uh, the Apple iTunes right so I'm on iTunes if I go like I can show you here if I go to uh, iTunes I've got my podcast right here on iTunes right there course income secrets episode number uh I don't know I got see it says I had 121 episodes does it show anywhere how many plays I got or anything like that I don't know uh listen on apple podcast 27 yeah so anyway so that's the itunes one okay so then if you want to go where else do we want to go i want to go on to um stitcher so on stitcher stitcher is very similar uh basically you got to go to stitcher and create your account so let's go to stitcher content provider and over here we're gonna go uh i'm already signed in so i'm gonna just uh, let me see I mean I already have an account so let's just sign in um just do Facebook I usually use that right oh that's nice my internet oh okay there we go I'm already logged in signed in there you go okay I'm on here now let's see where do I uh if you already have a stitcher you can log in here enter your podcast next you receive a pop-up asking um, no there's no pop-up maybe I gotta go here 
settings get the app top shows learn more get the app maybe under settings <coughs> looks like you're not a stitcher premium yeah I don't, I'm not a premium that's fine I don't want to get premium hmm submit a well maybe I can re-click this again because once I'm logged in I'm logged in stitcher there must be a way to upload where is it get that out of there partner partner stitcher list news technologies so how do you get your new your new download broadcasting careers privacy hmm they're saying a pop-up eh what if I log in here partner well maybe I have to go in here <coughs> I have to log in from here that's what's the difference hmm oh, okay there you go so I guess I have add a show right here once I'm actually once I actually have an account I got to go add a show right here and I'm going to put the URL uh, from let's close the URL from here again uh, the RSS feed paste it in here click on next so by the way the way it works is it goes and gets your email address from your account on Click eCourse so you got to make sure that you put the right email you won't have a choice to put a proper email in there and then it sends an authorization request and next step high five the final step please read and agree agree okay so that's basically um what it does here I have the portal here and it sent me an, and uh, there's only one show where is there show stats episodes <clears throat> if I go here back to my email there will be a link that I got to click on to activate that particular show authorize the edition let me say approve add this to stitcher and it adds it to my show and I have to thanks you approved okay good stuff I don't need to sign in do I I'm already signed in on the other tab I don't know why it uh... but the, you know it's a process it's, that's that's a, it's really that simple but once you have your place to host your courses where you can add new episodes I can go in here and every single day I just say I just click on the plus next to lessons and then I create a new uh, if after I've uploaded the video to YouTube I go in here and I just edit get shareable link I add it to the show right here let's make it a published right now let's make it uh, put the right length this is this was uh 242 whoops 242 right I, I'm gonna fix that so that you don't have to put that in but then I just say published on 2020 10-14 right I saved that <clears throat> and so there you go that's basically how you create your podcast from your YouTube videos right all you got to do is just you know you just got to have your videos available like these ones here and you just get the links and you add them to the course and then you have them as an RSS feed and that's as simple as that that's all you got to do all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't forget reach out and we'll help you as best we can have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time